Hey babies, I went to the Clinton Bailey Farmer's Market here on Clinton Street and Bailey Avenue in Buffalo, New York to go get the double up. I've explained this to you many times before and I don't see anybody coming out. I don't understand it. It's such a great benefit. You take your EBT snack food stamps and you can tur turn $20 into $40. Whether it's points, tokens, however you want to count it, you can get your needs met with fruits and vegetables, especially those people who have big families and get tons and tons of food stamps. I don't understand why y'all not out there with me. I'm not there right this second. I'm at home, but I mean, I am surprised I don't see none of y'all out there. I mean, it'd be a few, but come on now. That's crazy as hell. I'm going to show you what I got for my $63. I had saved $23 from two weeks ago when I went out there. Because it was something I wanted and I needed certain tokens or certain points or certain cash. So I spent the other cash that I could, my double up part, which is for fruits and vegetables only. But the other part, the wooden tokens, you can buy anything. You can buy what I always go out here for. One of the main reasons, and I'm going to beat myself up for July and August, but I learned. I went out here for the concentrated grape juice, which helps people who have high blood pressure. But this is the main thing I went out there for. The tart cherry juice concentrate. Now, personally, I have made it the way this says to make it. And it's really a little tired for me. So what I do is I'll take maybe a half. I'll take a 20 ounce bottle and put mm, maybe about 15 ounces of water in it. I put the rest in this. And yes, it is still tart. But I've shown you before that I get to cheer Bundy. Cherry juice from Price Right for $1.99 a bottle. And for whatever reason, that's sweeter than this that is in concentrate. So, when I have a bottle, and I do have a bottle in my refrigerator, but like I said, I could have been going out there in July and August. That's two months I dragged around and didn't do what I was supposed to do. Well, oh, well, I was having fun, so hold on. But anyhow, I'll pour a little of that Cherry Bundy juice into this jug when it's when I start using this some um, and it's no more, you know, when it's going down somewhere I have room, I'll put the Cherry Bundy juice in there and then shake it up and let it sit in the refrigerator until I use it because I don't drink it every day because I can't afford to drink it every day. Then I'll just pour some in. I'll get a glass, you know, a, a bottle. That's at least 15, 16 ounces, and then I'll pour the rest in and shake it up, and it'll be good. So since I don't drink it every day, as the bottle goes down, I add some more of my Cherry Bundy juice to this. And I still add water, so I'm watering down the Cherry Bundy juice as I'm mixing this with the water like I'm supposed. But it does help. Does it take 100% of the pain away? No, it does not. For me, it works on the pain to a degree. I mean, it don't. I'm not going to say it do, but I'm going to say it helps to ease the inflammation I have. Inflammation is arthritis, for those of you who didn't know. Unfortunately, I have an overabundance of inflammation. So I have an overabundance of arthritis. So I can understand why it doesn't take the pain away. But I'm going to tell you something. I've been taking that Amazing Herbs Black Seed Oil. And I've been taking some Turmeric. 
and I take some over the counter pain pills. It don't take the pain away. Don't nothing off take the whole pain away. It makes it more manageable for me. It makes it wears down the pain maybe for maybe about two, three hours and then here we go again. But I I also eat ground turmeric. So, you know. Hopefully I can get it together. Anyhow. I want to show you the rest of the stuff I bought. I bought this for five dollars. Ten pounds of onions for five dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. The grape juice was twelve. And the cherry juice is twenty-five. So those two juices is thirty-seven. Plus the five for the onion. That's forty-two. Didn't they have a lot of didn't have a lot of points though, but I was able to get what I wanted to get. And then I got what I hadn't gotten all year, which was a yellow watermelon. That was three. So we're down where are we at? We're at 45. And 45, and I bought some peppers, of course. So I bought 12 hot peppers, that was $2. I bought 12 four sweet peppers, that was a dollar. So that was three. And then I bought some corn. So I was able to get a dozen of corn on the cows for two dollars. So that's fine. So that's what he So that's fifty dollars so far. I did pretty good. Then I brought some broccoli. So that was fifty two. Nice little broccoli to get. That was two dollars. So that's fifty-two. And then I bought some other peppers that was two for a dollar. So and that was four. So that's fifty-six dollars. And between both of the coins, I still got ten left. I mean, I can't, I can't go wrong with that. I can't get upset at all. That's why I can't understand why you all aren't out there buying these double ups, getting your stuff prepared, and getting yourself ready for the upcoming weather. I can't speak of weather nowhere else. I can only speak of weather here in Buffalo, New York. It's already getting cool out. I mean, it ain't cold, but. You need a hoodie on, or a sweat jacket, or 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 a sweatshirt. And a lot of the older people, older than me, had coats on, like fall coats on or spring coats on. I got some leggings up under my my leggings, and I got a wife beater up under my long sleeve t shirt. But I had a hoodie on, so it was getting cold, cooler. Let's put it like that. It's not cold. It's getting cooler. It's getting cold. It's cooler. So, why can't you go out and save some money for you? I mean, I did get a lot. I can't complain. So, I can't understand why you wouldn't go out 
and take advantage and go get something. And before you say it is, oh, I don't have a car. I don't have a car either. I don't even drive. Never had the desire to. So I got my butt on two buses. Not one. Two. To go where I had to go. To get what I had to get. And two to come back. And I ain't been gone that long. So, where were you? I'm I'm starting to think Buffalo, New York, you just don't like savings. And if you don't want to save, hey, that's on you. I don't live beyond my means. I stretch my pennies as far as I can stretch them. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up so I know that you like my videos. Hit the notification button so you always get notified of my videos. Because, hey, on YouTube nowadays, if you don't hit that notification button, you won't get to see my other videos unless you start searching. And why would you have to search when they could be right there? But anyhow, mm, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I love you all. Toodles.